Hey, it's Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you an all-in-one tool to create powerful designs and presentations all in minutes. So today, what I'm gonna show you is this cool tool, it's called VizMe. And now what they allow you to do is allow you to create amazing templates that are targeted and tailored to your brand. It's especially great if you're maybe an agency owner that you run a business or you're a freelancer running a design business, then you wanna create internal assets like presentations and tools and a whole bunch of those things. It makes it really easy because it has all your brand assets there connected to the templates. And maybe you have a client and they need to have a tool, maybe they don't have a designer on board. What you can actually do is give them this tool and they can actually create their own documents. Once you've created the brand for them, they can go ham with it and um, create amazing um, templates and stuff like that. So I'm in the back end of Visme. Now the first thing that pops up is your project section. So you can create projects, you can actually create client folders. So maybe I wanna create a folder, I can click that, I can call it um, Client Work 2021. Maybe I wanna change the color, let's go blue. And click continue. So now I can have a folder. So maybe I wanna click on this folder and I can create a project within that folder. So maybe I want to start to create some assets. So I'm gonna click create new project. You'll be loaded up into the screen where all the templates are. Now it's powerful because they've got so many features. You can actually create social media graphics, presentations. You can create documents. Maybe you're working on an ebook or a layout. They can also do crazy data viz. Um, with charts and stuff like that. So maybe you got a presentation, you got to pitch it, or maybe you have a client that needs to present something. So you can see documents, we've got um, reports, whole bunch of different layouts, social graphics. So maybe we want to create an event um, image for Facebook. We can create a banner, which is really cool. And the cool thing is that there's new graphics added daily. So they're keeping it fresh. They're always adding different templates. Makes it super easy, you know? And you can see some infographics here. These look really cool. This would be great for like Pinterest or something like that. And the cool thing is we can actually go ahead and edit all these things. So maybe I wanna work on a presentation and I wanna work on something. I'm gonna click this one here, it looks minimal. I'm gonna click edit. And it's gonna load up the editor. So on the left-hand side, you've got a whole bunch of menus. So we've got basics, we've got the graphics. You can add photos, you can add data, media, theme colors with a different brand. So maybe I wanna change the color. I'll go ahead and change it to this red theme and you can see some of the colors start to change. Um, you know, we can go to photos. I can drag and drop a photo in. So maybe I want like this cool designer one and drag and drop that in. And you can see it just swaps out the images very, very easily. What if I'm just gonna drop that into there and I'm gonna say the designer um, chronicles and maybe I wanna extend this, I can just drag that. Very intuitive, I can move things around, very simple to use, printed by Jeremy Mira, beautiful. So you've got a whole bunch of um, tools that you can use, you can use the zoom out tool. On the right hand side, I can add a new slide, so I can click add new slide, and you can add a whole bunch of things, so I can add a gallery, I'll add a process, I can add an agenda. Uh, maybe I want to add a process here, and I'm going to click on, we'll add a four step process. I'm gonna insert that in. So now you can see I've got slide one and then I've got slide two. I'm just gonna zoom out a bit. So now I can say, maybe I'm creating a presentation for like how I work. I'm sending it to a client. I can say um, graphic design, uh, sorry, no, um, discovery. Discovery. research, design, and delivery. Delivery, beautiful, really cool. So there's so many different tools here. You can see I can add graphics. Maybe I wanna add like an illustration or even swap out the icon. So let's just go um, business and finances. Now what if I wanna drop that in there? Maybe I wanna scale that down. You can see it's responsive and maybe I wanna put it there as an icon. So you've got so many interesting things. Now, what I wanna show you is something called branded templates. Instead of just having um, generic and all these different templates and maybe you want more of a branded feel, we can actually create um, a cool branded template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new project. So create new one, new project, and I'm just gonna click customize. Now it's gonna take me to this page here. And what I'm gonna do is click on the top right, you'll see the little menu, it says branded templates, I'm gonna click that. 
Now, what we're gonna do here is click get started and it's gonna allow us to create our own brand. So maybe I'm doing this for a client. You can see I've done this website for a client um, about a year ago uh, or two. So I'm gonna create this. So you can see I can add the URL. I'm gonna take the website, drop it in here, press go. And what it's actually gonna do is actually gonna start to extract the brand assets, the colors, the fonts, the logo from that website really fast. And it's really interesting because I don't have to go in and manually do it all. It can actually whip it up by itself. And then we can customize some of the things later. So you can see you've got the logo here. So I'm gonna click that. I'll click next. It's found some fonts as well. So we've got Monster Rat, we've got Georgia. So I can, um, let's go with Monster Rat and Georgia. We'll add that to the brand kit. And then I'll click next. It will add all these, the brand colors from the website. So I'm gonna click add all. So see the little check boxes. I'm gonna click next. And then what I wanna do is I can see simple theme, modern theme or creative. Because the website is pretty minimal, I'm just gonna click simple theme and click next. Then I'll say congrats, your branded templates and brand clear are ready. So I'll be like, okay, awesome. I'll click go to branded templates. And now it's loaded in those same elements. It's interesting because you can see that template that I selected before that it's a minimal vibe is on the left there, which is cool. So now we've got all these templates with the brand colors using the same fonts from the website. And I can actually go in here and edit all these things. So maybe we're doing an ad for a Facebook post. I can click edit on this post here. It's gonna load up into the builder here. Now I can say, um, um, get fresh, feel fresh with, uh, with this. Um, new product. Um, maybe I want to delete this button. Delete that. I want to change this image in the back. So I'm going to go photos. I can search. They have millions of assets. So what if I want to search palm tree? You can even upload your own design. So maybe I want to click upload and then I can upload my own image if I want it. But for this, I'm just going to find something in the images. You can see there's plenty of images here. I'm gonna click this one. Now I'm gonna drag it. So we can drag it into the canvas or drag it as the background. So I'm gonna drag it as the background and hopefully it swaps that out. Yeah, easy. So you can see that we've got that. Beautiful. Now, what if I wanted to add some lines and shapes? I can go in here. You know, maybe I wanna add like a square or like a circle or something to make it like more creative. That looks pretty cool. This, I can maybe move this around. Maybe I want to move the text up like this. It's really intuitive, very easy, and I like it. Um, get, get your new face mask cream. And what if I want to change this? $45, beautiful. And then I'm just going to drag this up like that. Excellent. And it's got our logo there, which is super awesome. And I got the attendee discount for the first for first 10, 10 purchases. Excellent. So I'm pretty happy with it. I can click on layouts and maybe I want to try something else. You can see there's animator layouts. There's also static layouts as well. But because it's, I want to stick with my brand and template, I'm going to click this. Now I can click present and it allows me to actually present the design. So maybe I've added some animations, but we have to do that. So let's go in here and let's add some interactivity. So I'm going to click on my text. If I hold shift, I can select a whole bunch of the text so all together as a group. Now at the top right, you'll see you've got all these options. We can animate, we can align to, we've got effects, actions, and a range. I'm gonna click on animate and it's gonna open up the timeline. Now, this is gonna give us some pretty interesting functions. We've got fade in, we've got fly, we've got zoom spin, we've got a whole bunch of different things, right? So I like to keep it simple. So for me, I'm just gonna do fly from the left so it pops in from there. I'm going to click that and you can see we've got our timeline. Maybe we wanna like stretch it out a little bit, make it a bit longer, maybe three seconds. We can click play and see how that works. Just like that, I think that's really cool. We can click advanced if you wanna go into the details and that, but we just wanna keep it really simple. So we've added that. And then maybe I want to 
um, do the animate the circle coming down maybe from the top like this you click play you can see that and maybe this one I just want that to fade in and I'm just gonna bring that up like this that. now I just want to preview it I'll click play and see the new animations there boom as you can see it loads in very easily and we're ready to go it's animated it's super super cool now we can also add other effects so maybe I wanted to add some you know neon effect or you know um, shadows we can do a mask even as well so if I want to mask it you can see I can do that um, we can do a whole bunch of things we can do action so I can link to a website so um, I can you know put a link there put an email address super easy to do that but for us um, We can also add a new page. So on the right hand side, I click new page. I can add a blank slide or I can add insert a secondary design. So maybe you want to do a whole batch of Facebook posts and upload it over a week. You can actually do all this. If I don't want this one, I can click on the clog and click delete as well. But I can switch back and forth really easily between my slides on the right hand side. So we can see there, we can view by the grid. Once you're happy with your designs, all you can actually do is actually share it. So on the top right corner, we can download it. We can also click share. So maybe you want to share it with a friend or with my client, I can click share. So I can say Facebook uh, FB post one V1. I can click, hey, check out this design. I can click share. Now it's gonna give me a link. I can copy it and then if I paste it, for example, it's gonna show me this design. So it's really easy to share with your clients live and they can see the whole presentation um, with the animations. So I think that's super neat, super cool. We can also share privately as well. So maybe you don't want it to be public. You can actually change that as well. And we can also embed it with a HTML link inside our website, which I think is a really great feature. Now, if we want to download it, we can click download at the top right corner. And what you can actually do is download it as a JPEG or a PNG, whatever floats your boat. We can also do PDFs, which I love, and also a video. And um, we can also present it as a PPTX, so PowerPoint. For this, I'm just going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to select all pages and I'm going to click um, download to PC and it's going to generate that JPEG ready for me to schedule so I can upload it to my Facebook page or even probably Instagram because I'm pretty sure they have the same sizes. I'm going to double click on the JPEGs and you can see now we've got our designs. We've got that one and the second one design which was that template we added but we didn't edit. So just like that within you know five ten minutes you can make so many posts for special for social media for um, brand and everything like that. Now we can always go back. So if I click the top left, I'm gonna click VizMe and go back to our dashboard. Now, if you're a business, so for example, me, my business as Jeremy Maria Designs, I can come in here and add some of my assets, okay? So I'm gonna come here real quick, go into my assets, go into output, and I'm gonna add my logo in here. All right, so I've got my logo, which is cool. Um, I can go ahead and add some custom fonts. So if I want to upload fonts and I can also select brand colors. You can see what workspace I'm in right now and what project is selected. So I'm actually on um, this project, but I want to go to a different project. So I'm going to go create new and I'm just going to go new folder. and I'm going to call it Jeremy Mirror Designs. Make that orange and continue. So I want to make sure that I'm in here and then I'm going to go back to brand. And you can see I'm going to start to work on these. I can click on styles as well. So another cool thing is that I can come in here and edit the hex code. So I can paste in a hex code really easily. If I want, I change the color. I'm going to pick my orange color. Charcoal. I'm just roughly selecting my brand colors there. And the gray there. Beautiful. And you can see some of the examples here. So we've got the headings. We can change the font. So monster rat. We'll do monster rat here and monster rat there. Beautiful. And you can give it, we get an example of how the data will look like if we do this viz, um, data. I'm going to click on templates as well on the left hand side. And now you can see um, this is the templates that you can create. Your team can create. Um, obviously, you can search for the projects there as well. And we've also got brand links. So I can go in here, 
You can see it's got Key Africa there, but I can go ahead and add, you know, my LinkedIn, my Instagram, um, your clients, contact details as well, which is gonna be super interesting. And then lastly, we've actually got data. So if you go on the left-hand side, you can see the analytics. And we can see here, we've had one visit on the link that I shared that I viewed before. It's actually giving us a view. So I can see when my clients actually look at that. Um, it's super useful, super handy. So I can actually test things. I can see the data, see what's working and um, adjust. So you can see the FB post here, V1. And we can see the views that it got, um, as we can see there. Total time in Australia has the IP. So it's got a whole bunch of different features. So that's how you use VizMe. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna try it out, I will put a link in the description below. So definitely check it out. And I'm sure you're gonna have a great time and it's gonna be fun, especially if you're a designer, freelancer, or a business owner. It's a great tool to have all your templates in one place to help you get on board and grow your business. So thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next video. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button. Really appreciate it.